my name is Matt Gillard and I race snowboard cross. As an athlete, you've got to have short-term and long-term goals. Uh, my my long-term goals are to be on the national A team and to go to the Olympics. So my short-term goals for next season are making the national dev team next year. Uh, those goals are realistic because my results this year showed that I should be at that level of competition for next season. In Portacross, you need to train for everything. Snowboard cross racers are a combination of the best riders from half pipe, uh, freestyle, GS, and alpine snowboarding. And that's because on the course you've got to use all those skills. So our training is, is really diverse, more diverse than any other snowboard competition. We've got to be good at airs in the park. We've got to be ready to take on whatever comes at us. So sometimes we even train on rails and off trail. Um, and, and of course, the most obvious ones are you've got to be good at carving and line choice. And you've got to be strong. This past season, I had a really successful season. Uh, so, Overall provincial series champion and a first place at provincial at provincial championships. I headed out to Big White, British Columbia, uh, for nationals, and we have senior is open nationals, so 15 and up, and I uh, placed 16th at senior nationals, open nationals, and so that was uh, a really really good result. Last year I placed 23rd, so you can see a big. Uh, results jump there and that also made me the fourth best Canadian at nationals so I was I was really impressed with that result. And the next day was junior nationals so uh, I was still feeling really good about my race the previous day and uh, everything worked out really well I placed fourth in my semi-final and then third in my in the, my consolation small final and that put me at seventh place and that was the number one Canadian rank at, at uh, junior nationals which is 15 to 19 age category so that's uh, that totally blew me away I was on top of the world and, and uh, yeah that was super exciting uh, this year I'll be graduating high school um, as it stands now, I've got honor roll. Next year, I've, I've applied and been accepted to Carleton University for their architecture program in design. And so that's, that's pretty exciting. I'm, I'm having to figure out how I can work both snowboarding and, and uh, university. So that's, that's a challenge that I'm coming up to right now in my career. But I, I definitely want to keep both of, of those things in my life and and I'm, I'm confident that I'll find a way to do it that will help me succeed in uh, becoming an architect and succeed in becoming an Olympic athlete. Snowboarding has really helped shape me into the person I am today. Uh, it's it's such a cool thing being in a team atmosphere and competing individually because you have to be able to compete with your teammates and also be teammates with your teammate. Leadership is is something that I've learned through snowboarding that's helped me in all aspects of my life. Also, initiative uh, is is something that you learn, and that sort of goes along with time management. On snowboard trips, you're often cooking your own food. You're uh, you're really self-sufficient, managing uh, managing everything yourself.
I'm sure if you talk to my coach, he'd say, 